Happy Saturday, everyone, and welcome back to the hottest selling cards in Magic. That's right. These cards sold the most volume this week from November 22nd to the 27th of 2021. Let's take a look at the new Hot Top 10. Welcome back everyone. We've had a lot of changes this week. A lot of our older cards got totally bumped off the top 10 list, but we're trying to see will consider hold on for a third consecutive straight week or will it be bumped off by other cards moving up the list? Let's take a look. Let's not wait any longer. These are your hot top 10. We're starting out number 10 today with Alchemist Gambit. That's right, this Innistrad Crimson Vow turn-taking monster comes in at number 10. It did slip a little bit from last week, but with 81 sales, it is doing fantastic from November 22nd to the 27th of 2021. Now, the average price is only 71 cents. The market has it at 27 cents. I can't help but laugh. It's a great card, but 27 cents for a rare in today's market is ridiculous. A foil is going to run you $1.01 or if you're in Europe somewhere it is €1.34 to get this bad boy to your house. Let's face it, he is a fun card for 3. He's very usable at 7. I expect to see the Alchemist Gambit slowly moving up our list as the sales continue to be very strong on this particular card. Let's go ahead and take a look at number 9. Ragavan the Nimble Pilfer comes in from Modern Horizons 2 to the number 9 slot. 82 sales from November 22nd to the 27th of 2021. The average price is $76.99. The market has it at $67.37 US. Now foils are hard to pull on this particular guy. They're going for $126.61 US and 65 euro 96 cents will get you that card ragavan has moved down a little bit but the sales are really strong on a price point on this card keep an eye on ragavan he is sought after and loved this modern horizons 2 card was hard to pull from boxes as i opened several myself and only got one ragavan you're the man let's see how it goes and please don't steal our hearts let's go ahead and take a look at number eight Number eight today is Marsh Flats moving down some slots with Modern Horizons 2. The price have been suppressed a little bit, but still a strong 92 sales from November 22nd to the 27th of 2021. Number eight is a very respectable spot. This price is averaging at 1893 US. The market has it at 1655 US. A foil will run you 2290 US and 14 euro and 88 cents will get you that card home to your house. The Marsh Flats, you got to respect it. It's hanging in there. Strong sales week after week because with the fetch lands being suppressed in price right now, everyone's diving in trying to get their play sets and fill things out for those good old commander decks. Let's take a look at card number seven. Now, number seven is Verdant Catacombs, Modern Horizons 2, 103 sales. This number seven card with those sales, November 22nd to the 27th of 2021, the average price on this card is $24.99 US. The market is $21.47. A foil is $31.06. Not bad at all. And of course, €20.86 will get you that card to your house. You see how the price point on this card being suppressed, being pushed down. People are buying play sets. They're picking these cards up. Verdant, any fetch land, they are doing well, boys and girls. We got to respect it. Get your fetch lands while you can because they are hot. Let's go ahead and take a look at card number six, and that is Memory Deluge. That's right, at number six, this card had 117 sales, November 22nd to the 27th of 2021. The average price is $6, the market has it at $5.89. A foil, though, is only $7.70. Not a lot of price difference there, pay attention to that. And of course, €6.59 will get you that card. This card is being seen everywhere. It had strong sales week after week. It's been in the top 10 three consecutive weeks. It's hanging in there. Will it move up? Will it move down? Find out next week when you tune in on Saturday to see how these cards are doing. Let's go ahead. We're now entering number five. 
All right, number five is Misty Rainforest from Modern Horizons 2 with 129 sales, November 22nd to the 27th of 2021. The average price is $30 US. The market has it at $26.04. You can see a foil going for $39.29 US, 21, sorry, US. And of course, 25 euro and 25 cents will get you that card. Look at all these fetch lands being pushed down in price. But please remember out there, people, they are gonna go back up because at these price levels, people are gonna buy play sets. They're gonna fill out commander decks. It is so cheap, you just can't help yourself. I know, it's crazy, but remember also, Modern Horizons 2 is not being opened again right now. It's, it's pretty much done. People have their boxes at home on shelves. Keep an eye on that because these prices will rise in the future. Scary stuff, but be prepared. All right, card number four, Scalding Tar. Now, I did a video earlier about non reserve list cards this week, and I knew it was going to be on the list because the sales were insane. This card comes in at number four with 131 sales from November 22nd to the 27th of 2021. Now, the average price is $35 US. The market has it at $29.59 US. A foil is $40 US, and €29.20 will get you that card. This is insanity. These cards are all so cheap right now. They are selling like hotcakes each and every day. I got my play set, so I'm good. I hope you guys have yours too. Let's go ahead and take a look at card number three. Number three on the list today is Behold the Multiverse. 137 sales from November 22nd to the 27th of 2021. Average price, 25 cents US. Market price, 15 cents US. A foil will cost you 43 cents US. And hey, 11 cents euro will get you that card. Look at this. Behold the multiverse. It is an instant speed draw cards, scry stuff, and it can be foretold. You can see why this thing gets used all the time still. Amazing card, and thank goodness it's super cheap and not hard to come by because people continually are buying play sets. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our top cards. Number two is next. Get ready for it. Number two on the list is Play With Fire. Came out of nowhere this week to surge up the top 10. This Innistrad Midnight Hunt card wasn't even on the list the last two weeks. This card has gone from nowhere to right there to number two with 193 sales from November 22nd to the 27th of 2022, 2021. Sorry. And if you see this card, it only costs 50 cents US. The market's 41 cents US. A foil is 65 cents US. And not even one euro, and you can get this card. It's 32 cents euro. Guys, insanity. It's it's just an uncommon, easy to get, but it's such an improvement over cards like Shock. You gotta remember that this thing can scry. You can get a little bonus peek into your deck. That's why it's moving up. People are recognizing it and buying it. I can't believe how fast some of these sales have happened. Now you've waited for it. You're ready for it. We are going ahead and checking out the number one card on the list. And yes, those of you who guessed it, it is going to be Consider hangs on to the number one spot with 489 sales from November 22nd to the 27th of 2021. This card is surged up there to hold on to the spot. Its average price is now a buck 51 US. The market has it at 173 US. A foil is 229 US and almost one euro, a little bit less, and you get that card. Now remember, this is a common, but Innistrad Midnight Hunt is not being opened en masse. This card actually may start to go higher just because of the people buying it. I've seen people buy as many as 40 copies at once because it's only 40 bucks to do so. And then they don't have to worry about copies. And if it goes up to five, six dollars for a common, they can make a massive profit. Keep an eye on this card. If you have them, I would hold on to them for now in case you need them for decks. This card at number one is insane. Guys, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages. This is your hot 10. These are the fastest best-selling cards in Magic right now. I know Thrill Champion got totally knocked off the list. It was a one-off. Lodestone Bobble got knocked off the list. It was a one-off. It was a surge because of what was going on. But this is what happens. These cards move fast and furious. Tune in next week. Tune in. Turn in. Tune in next week, and we'll see what the new Hot 10 will be. Next Saturday, I'll see you all there. Have a great one.
Of course, a massive shout out to all my patrons out there who support this channel. And if you're new to my channel, you too can support me on Patreon. Just go to the Patreon page, type in MTG Moxman, you will find me there. Thanks again to all my patrons. Have a great one. So you're here. You made it to the end. I hope you enjoyed the hot 10 today. Hope you had a blast watching the video and seeing what was going on. Let's face it, these cards move fast and furious. Now, for those of you who made it to the end, you can put a boomstick, of course, in the comment section. Boomstick. So I know you made it that far. But also, also, I'll be putting a poll question up probably early next week or even on, on Sunday. And I'll be asking you guys if you think I should do a hot 10 for reserve list cards on a Saturday. So it'll follow this video, probably within a few hours of it, on a Saturday, to do a double video. One, for all the Hot 10 across the board, but also for just the reserve list lovers out there, we will do a Hot 10 reserve list if you guys want me to. I'm up for it if you are. Guys, give me your comments. I'll put the poll question, of course, for everyone. I'm looking forward to seeing you guys then. I hope you're having an awesome day. I really am. I'm pumped up today, man. Pumped up. Pumped!